Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are on week two of consistency. <laughs> but welcome back to my channel. I hope this week into the new year is going well for you. If not, trust it will be all right. So today we are going to talk about a word and that word is pivot. For about past month, I've been hearing pivot, pivot, or pivoting, or pivoting. Pivot is an adjustment or modification made as to a product, service, or strategy strategy that part is important in order to adapt or improve those who's been watching my channel for a while you know that i'm somebody who enjoys fashion i enjoy cooking i enjoy home decor i enjoy gardening this is probably why i haven't really been consistent with youtube because it's like i always felt like something was missing it wasn't all complete whether if i was just focusing on cooking a lot fashion was missing decor was missing something was always missing i feel like this season god's been showing me and kind of gave me and my husband the idea of how we should put it together he gave me this personality he gave me these gifts because you do want to be that person who uses the gifts god gave you for his glory because you can use it for your glory which is cool or it's not cool but just know that your your, your glory you would just be on this earth that's it they, they, all the you're only gonna get it on this earth and i don't want to be that person i'm gonna get clap 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 in heaven so i do want to use the gifts that he gave me and not bury it or you know use it for my own gain or whatnot yes blessings come with what he tells you to do you know but you always as a believer have to think about his kingdom it's not this earth is going to pass you are going to pass what is everlasting is his kingdom so your mind should always be on the kingdom and i always make this joke but i'm dead serious i'm like i'm not trying to live in the projects in heaven if i'm living the projects in, on, on earth why do i want to live in the projects in heaven i'm trying to have a mansion in heaven so i want to do all of my work on earth so uh, i build me a nice nice chill spot and have it i'm dead serious though <laughs> all to say is that okay how can i use all these gifts that god gave me this personality that god gave me and put it in one and i just realized instead of the reason why i haven't feel, been fulfilled excited to do youtube because it's like i was separating all of them and it should just be all of me and i'm not saying i haven't been naturally or authentically me i have but something was always missing and i felt like oh because i'm separating it and it should be all together i love to talk i'm a teacher i love people i love talking to people i love like digging deep and getting people's mindset and ideas that's just always been me my undergrad is in counseling that's my thing so i always love talking to people i love cooking into natural healing things healthy eating that's always been my thing as well those who know me know that i love fashion i should not lose you love with fashion like that because you know i really really like fashion i really like fashion so i love home decor uh, i love my vintage pieces i love my modern pieces everything i do is usually surrounding those four things god gave me that well gave my husband the idea thank god for him and he shared when i said yo this makes so much sense and i actually have an excitement to do it why don't we just put all of it together it's so separating all of it my whole YouTube channel should just be all of that together. So talking, talking about things people don't want to talk about. Marriage, friendships, community, the church, God, whatever. It could be very deep. It could be very light. However the Holy Spirit want to do it, I'm down for it. Um, guests come on and talk about their experiences, walk with God, their experiences at their job, their experiences, whatever life throws at them. So I'm like, oh, we could do that. Bring some food in, have some fashion moment, you know, and just, be and i'm just like so this is the pivoting point that or the pivot that we are making we are going to pivot from separating everything to bringing everything to, um, together so going forward this youtube channel will basically be a talk show involving all of those things that i mentioned sometimes it's just going to be me sometimes it's going to be other people that are coming in and i really want to also encourage anybody who you feel like god's been telling you to pivot god's been telling you to prepare and you've been afraid to do so message this is your time to do that obedience is better than sacrifice be obedient a lot of stuff a lot of times we miss out on our blessings because we're not obedient to be big man like god you didn't do this i prayed for this 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 and you do none of it guys like but i i told you to do this and you do that either because if you did that your blessings was at the end of that room if you made that first move i'll give you an example i used to work at target years ago that was a humbling humbling experience for me for four years because i came out of college i thought i was a hot girl i have a degree i should have that because no growing up you get to you go to college you have a degree you have a job that so 
I'm thinking, I'm like, well, I'm out of college. Let me get, you know, why am I working at Target? It was, and I thought I was going to be at Target for a couple of months. I was there for four years. It was a, it was a humbling experience. I went on the deal, uh, I went on the LOA, leave of absence, because that time I was also working in fashion um, and film for a little bit. So I would take a leave of absence to work on, whether if it's fashion week or whatever. And before I left, people kept telling me, oh, Bernie, not coming back. Bernie, not coming back. Which is very interesting because I always go on leave of absence. They know around September, around fashion week or Feb February, I go on leave of absence. So I found it very funny that a lot of people kept saying that. And I felt that I wasn't coming back too. So I didn't argue with them. I'm like, why y'all keep saying that? So long story short, I did fashion week. Everything was done. It's time for me to go back. I feel like I shouldn't go back. I'm holding on. I'm applying for jobs. I'm like, I'm, I feel like my season with Target is done. My lesson is learned. I got to go. I got to move on. And I just, I couldn't. And Holy Spirit kept telling me, call them and quit. I'm like, oh, I ain't got no job. I can't call and quit. And I just, I held them for about a good week or two, not calling them. I just kept extending my LOA. I kept extending my LOA. I applied for the job, waiting, 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 not hearing anything, getting frustrated. Guys, tell them to quit my job. I said, God, I'm waiting for this job to come. I'm not getting anything, but you tell me to quit my job. I don't have a job. So long story short, I called to quit. And as a funny thing, as I'm quitting, I want to tell them how I feel, how, how trash they are, and how... They don't have good leads. So all these things I want to tell them. And Holy Spirit told me, don't do all that. Just tell them you're not coming back. I'm like, but God, they got to know that they can't be doing like this. Because other people are going to leave them and the business is going to be bad. Da, da. He said, that's not your job. Just tell them you're not coming back. So thank God I was obedient. Obeyed and told them I wasn't coming back and I quit. Literally. If not the same day, a couple of hours or the next day. I honestly think it was the same day, a couple of hours later, I get an email from the job that I applied to, like, uh, you've been hired. I'm like, wait. So I realized the job was already given to me, but it was delayed because of my disobedience. Would it be crazy if when the time comes, we are, are in heaven with our father, you're looking at all the blessings ha ha God has set for you, and you only got five out of that 5,000 you're supposed to get only because you were obedient? It really taught me a lesson like, oh wait, this was delayed. I probably would have never had that job if I wasn't obedient. Is it possible that a lot of our blessings are also delayed because of disobedience? I'm not trying to live that life. I'm trying to reap everything I sow. Whether, you know, if you're, evangelize if you tell people about God you want to reap the benefits of that okay because God is a loving God who likes to give good gifts to his children like the word said even the earthly father would not give their child uh, 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 was a snake when they asked for a food or whatever I might be messing up but so why would he, your heavenly father give you something bad when you ask for something good like it, it makes no sense so it's like your blessings might be on the other side of obedience so I encourage you, if been, God been telling you to pivot, pivot. If God been telling you to prepare, prepare. If God been telling you to make that move, make that move. I understand fear. Fear is very normal, okay? But man should not live by fear, right? Jesus was fearful. If Jesus got to a point, he was just like, take this cup from me because it was too much. Even he experienced, that's why I love that Jesus came down to be human because he experienced what we go through. So he understand your fear because he been there. But guess what Jesus still did? He prayed and kept going and still accomplish the goal and still do what he came down to do have your fear but keep on moving keep on pushing keep on walking keep on doing what god told you to do like jesus did so i don't know or i don't understand where this might take us or where this is going to go but you know what i pray for consistency and i pray that even in the fear i still push through and i pray that even in the fear that you're facing you still push through because God said to go and obedience is better than sacrifice. That is the move and the change that we are making to this channel. We are going to pivot and we are going to do a talk show, okay? If you told me a couple years ago I was going, I'm going to do a talk show, I don't your line because I don't even watch pop, podcasts or even listen to podcasts because I feel like too many people are talking, okay? I'd rather listen to somebody that's God-led, that's giving me godly uh, wisdom and not worldly wisdom. So I'm surprised I'm even doing this, but we're going to be going on this journey together. And I just hope that, and I would love to read that you also pivoted and did what God told you to do. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this message, enjoyed this video, and I cannot wait to see y'all next week. All right. Bye.